Hello guys, we all ended up in 2024, which means it's time out to find out what the creators of gaming devices good and different have prepared or are preparing. Today we will evaluate various consoles from both companies from China and Western regions. There is something to see there. Jack Rudy is with you and we are starting. Mega 95 with original cartridges from Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. Personally, I really like the project of Hyperkin, which developed and presented a prototype of an interesting portable console. This is a modern device that is compatible with the original cartridges from Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. It looks almost like a controller from these consoles, only with 5-inch screen in the middle. Probably, if gamers of the 90s were offered a similar device, they would give anything for it. The author of this article did exactly that at the time. Yes, of course, I'm aware of the Sega Game Gear and Nomad, but the Mega 95 looks just gorgeous, even though it's a prototype. It is unlikely that anything will change much in the final device. The device also has built-in battery, which makes it possible to play up to 10 hours without recharging. In order to charge the battery, you need a USB-C docking station, to which, by the way, you can connect additional controllers. The dock allows you to display an image on the TV. In general, it's almost like a Nintendo Switch, only with a touch of Vintage. Pricing or release date for the Mega 95 is yet to be announced, but for reference, Hyperkin's handheld Super NES emulation machine currently sells for $119.99. With any luck, that could mean the Mega 95 ends up being more affordable and more readably available than the analog pocket. Is the claw from MCI an alternative to the Steam Deck? And this is a much more productive device that is designed to run modern games. As far as we can understand, this is a competitor to both Astrog Alley, Lenovo Legion Go and Valve Steam Deck. The device is based on the Intel Meteor Lake processor family, namely Intel Core Ultra 7 155Hz with 16 cores and 22 threads. The chip is a hybrid of B cores and E cores. As for graphics, Dark Alchemist with 8 Xia cores is responsible for it, the frequency of which we can be increased to 2 and 25 GHz. The dimensions of the console are equal to the size of the Rock Alley. It is a 7 inch screen and they are almost the same body size. The display resolution has an HD resolution. It is an IPC LSD with a frame refresh rate of 120 GHz. Some buttons are programmable, so you can use certain macros in different games. As for the OS, the device will be shipped with Windows 11. The cost of the device is approximately $700. Pick 2. An unusual device that offers gamers a remote game when connected to other devices. That is, for example, on the screen of a portable console, you can see a game that is installed on your own PC, and you don't want to spend time sitting in an armchair in front of a monitor and TV. Something like cloud gaming only when connected to nearby devices. Perhaps cloud gaming is also subject to the device, there is not much information yet. The display on the set-top box has a resolution of 1920 pixels cross 1180 pixels. The battery lasts for about 3.5 hours of operation. The set-top box comes with a compact PC that is equipped with an AMD Ryzen 7, 8840Hz processor, DDR5 RAM and two PCIe Gen 4 M2 slots. The dimensions of the mini PC are 243 x 195 x 65. It comes with a 100W battery. The developers claim that in gentle mode the battery will last for about 20 hours of work or play. If we do not save resources, then for three and a half hours. The system comes with Windows 11. The device supports wireless Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 and 2. In general, the idea is unusual. Perhaps there will be an audience for the device. The cost is still unknown, but we can assume that the price will be about $300. Terence Force Handle 5. And this, we can say, is quite a typical portable console from China. It is equipped with a 7-inch screen with a resolution of 1920 pixels, Cross 1180 pixels. As for the chip, it is an AMD Radeon 7 7840U with 8 Zen 4 cores and 12 RDN A3 GPU cores. The cost of the device is already known, but is not low. So, for a configuration with 16GB of LSD 5 6400 RAM and 1TB PCIe 4 NVMe CSD, you will have to pay about $1,000. The dimensions of the device are 256 x 113.5 x 22.5 mm. The weight of the console is 688 grams, which is quite a lot. The device is also equipped with two 
40 GB USB-C ports, a micro SD card slot, a gyroscope, a wireless communication model with support for 5.56e and Bluetooth 5. Io Neo Next Lite. Finally, another interesting device is the Io Neo Next Lite, which is a portable game console with a 7-inch display with a resolution on 1280 x 800 pixels. The difference from the other devices of this kind can be called SteamOS instead of Windows. It is worth nothing that Chinese vendors who produce powerful game consoles find it difficult to compete with Valve, Asus, Lenovo and MCI. The fact is that large companies manage to keep the price threshold relatively low due to the scale of production, but the Chinese do not do this, the proof of which is the console described above. As far as we can understand, the Aya Neo Next Lite is released as a mid-range gaming device, the cost of which is comparable or even lower than the price of the devices from large companies. But how productive it will be is still difficult to say, since not many details are known. As for the controls, there is everything a gamer needs, a D-pad, an Alex, regular buttons and additional ones. The cost of the device is about $899. Thank you guys for watching this video, thumbs up, subscribe and see you soon.